Hey there, water signs. I hope you're doing great today. Thank you for joining me for another group session. So if you are Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, these messages will be for you. Now, water pals, if you haven't been to a group session before, all good. Just understand, not all messages will resonate, and that is just fine. If you need a private session, check me out at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com, where you can also sign up for my Mediumship Workshop 101. This is this weekend on June 11th and 12th, so get in on that. And of course, if you enjoy these sessions, please don't forget to support me so I can keep supporting you. Whether that's a like, a share, subscribe, or a donation or a tip, I am more than happy to have you with me. So friends, let's do some love readings, love readings. That's right. So we're going to take a look at the overall love energies going on for each of you right now and go into a little bit more detail. So let's do it. Starting with Cancer. Cancer, please. Overall energies for Cancer and love. Cancer and love. What's going on with Cancer? What's coming down the line for Cancer and love? Whoa, whoa. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so Cancer, you got a, a whole bunch of stuff kind of spilled out, but only one landed on my desk, and here we go. You deserve love. Absolutely, you do, Cancer. Now, this is a card, and what it says here is you are lovable. And I have the feeling with this card coming up that you feel that you possibly might have been unlucky in love for the last little while. Maybe you're putting your best foot forward to try to move forward and create beautiful relationships and stuff, but you're not getting the traction or you're not seeing the results that you want, okay? But this is also a card that's, invite, that's inviting you to remember that just because you're not in a relationship doesn't mean that you don't have love, that you can't carry love and that you aren't lovable. There very well might be divine timing at play going on in your love life or perhaps the universe is trying to steer you away from something that isn't for you so you don't waste your time and go down an unnecessary timeline. So let's take a look at more details and see what else is going on for you. Cancer please. What's going on for Cancer? You deserve love. What's going on for Cancer? More details for Cancer please. Yeah, there it is. One more for Cancer. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Cancer. So you're not over the heartbreak. You're not over the heaviness and stuff. You very might well have a hard time letting go of some past things that have happened in relationships where you didn't hear what you want. As a result, you might be a little bit bashful moving forward or putting yourself in the position where you maybe don't want to even look at relationships right now, okay? And that's okay, but this isn't something that you need to hold on to for a long time because you also don't want to start another pattern, okay? So check it out. Three of Swords. This is heartbreak. This is you not getting over the past stuff. Whether you were involved in a third-party relationship where you were cheated on or you weren't given the right love or attention, there's lots of reasons why we can have a broken heart in a relationship. That'll be different for everyone. But this is very prevalent for you and I feel heaviness in my heart. Look at the two cards that are coming up afterwards. The Fool in Reverse. You don't want to move forward. You don't want to take any more chances. Perhaps you've decided that you're going to be the old man on the hill and decide that, you know, hey, I'm safe for not loving and not risking my heart because I don't want it to get broken. And as a result, Page of Swords in Reverse. You're not looking into anything. You're not looking to find anything. You're just like, you know, let's forget the whole love thing altogether and maybe I'll just go watch a movie, okay? But check it out. I just felt like I needed to pull another love message here. Healing family issues. There is stuff that comes with you that you have experienced in your life that isn't necessarily just romantic, but other love relationships. So for example, if in your family you weren't given love and support and you didn't feel like you were seen in your own, you know, family atmosphere, you also might have a different way that you look at romantic love. You might be reaching out to feel love, to get the attention, to get the acknowledgement that you didn't receive when either you were small or maybe you didn't have the power to speak up to yourself. But now this broken heart situation is, is impacting your actions and how you are opening yourself up. So this is a card that's lovingly inviting you to look and see what sort of fam family type hurts or traumas that you might need to release so that you can free yourself up. Now there's always options, there's always an opportunity to get hurt when you move forward in love, but we also have to remember if we don't move forward and take risks, we never get the opportunity to grow either. So Cancer, I feel and I communicate and, and I have compassion for your broken heart, but it's time to look within and see how can I heal myself so that I can move forward in love. Scorpio! Hey my Scorpio pals! 
So, let's check out what's going on for you in the name of love. One card, please, for Scorpio, for love. Scorpio in love. Scorpio in love. What's going on for Scorpio? Oh, there it goes. Okay. I'm picking up on something, too, as well. I don't know if there's some stuff going on here where... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Scorpio. True love. Uh -huh. Look at that. And it says, this is the romance of a lifetime. Wowzers, Scorpio. Let's take a look at what's going on. Now, certainly with this card of true love, it's going to indicate like a legitimate, loving, romantic relationship, okay? Now, with this true love card as well, this is also going to be putting you in the position to, you know, look at where, where have I come from? Are there trust issues going on and all of that? And I feel like I just want to say relax. Relax, Scorpio. Because... Of course, a lot of us carry other traumas and stuff to the table when we start new relationships. But this is making me feel like you should not rush ahead. Not because there's something bad going on, but because just taking your time and enjoying the moment and allowing yourself, you know, like they say to uh, stop and smell the roses. So just enjoy this coming up. Enjoy the attention. Enjoy, enjoy these lovey-dovey feelings. And we'll see what's coming down the line. So what is coming down the line for Scorpio with this true love card? True love for Scorpio, what's going on? Okay, hold on, that was a whole bunch of fellow. Scorpio, please, Scorpio. Scorpio, please, cards for Scorpio. Three for Scorpio in love. Here, oh, there's three, is it three? Oh, it's four, hold on. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries. Yeah, okay. So like I said before with this true love card, I don't know if you are possibly, you know, holding back perhaps there was a relationship like I said and like and I and I just kind of feel like this I feel like there's something in the past that's holding you back as well and these cards are showing me that and I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries because the Emperor is showing up here as well or even a fire sign but with this true love card like I said slow down and enjoy the ride you don't have to make any decisions today you don't have to come to any conclusions today fool in reverse don't just look and, and you know don't just look and leap and like don't you know, have any sort of information to go on it. No decisions need to be done today, okay? If it feels good, of course it's going to feel good because your love, your love energy is stirring around, okay? And it brings up all sorts of emotions and ideas and it's easy to project, project future ideas about what's gonna happen, okay? But just go with the flow, go with the moment, okay? The emperor is showing up, so again, this could be you dealing with an Aries or this could be you taking a firm stance and perhaps, be, perhaps being a little stubborn. Maybe you're protecting yourself from past stuff because you get these lovey-dovey feelings and you don't want it to turn into something that it turned out into in the past. Speaking of which, nine of wands, okay? Feeling defensive, feeling like, oh man, what's coming down the line and being a little bit stressed out as a result of it and maybe feeling overwhelmed, okay? The Ace of Swords in Reverse is showing up as well, which is also telling me that you can't see the forest through the trees. Although you really like to, like, it might feel good. You like might have these, like, like I said, beautiful projections of what this could turn into. We don't actually know. So the advice and guidance for you is very, very easy right now, Scorpio. Enjoy the ride. Don't come, don't show up with all these expectations of it's supposed to be this or look like this or be like this. Just show up, enjoy the day, enjoy the time that you spend together and just see where it goes because if this person is for you, they're going to be for you anyways, okay? You don't have to rush down to the altar, but enjoy these lovey moments as they show up because they truly are a gift. Pisces, hey my Pisces pals. I hope you're doing wonderful. So let's take a look at the overall love energies going on for you and see what's up. Pisces, love energies for Pisces, please. Love energies for Pisces. Where are we at? What's going on for Pisces in love? Pisces, please. Pisces. Okay, so here it is. Forgiving and learning, okay? So it says here, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So Pisces, whether you're in a relationship or whether you're not in a relationship right now, this can absolutely be for you. What traumas are showing up? What things have you not forgiven? Either like past partners or forgiving yourself or either giving your power away or staying in relationships for too long that you shouldn't have stayed in. This can also have to do with family trauma that you um, either received or lived through when you were a child about what did what do loving relationships look like? What should I feel like in a relationship? How should my partner be making me feel? What is an acceptable form of love? Okay. So there's lots of stuff that can show up here for forgiving and learning. 
Pisces, please. What's the overall love energies for Pisces here? Pisces, whoops, look at that, okay. Yeah, okay. Literally three cards just went right across my wrist, okay? And these cards are really telling you that you can get over this, but some work is going to be required from you. Number one, the hermit. So this is literally about taking time to yourself. Now, that doesn't mean that if you're in a relationship, you have to end the relationship, you don't. But this is about introspection. This is about you going deep inside and understanding where are my hurts? Where are my traumas? What things do I need to forgive? What things do I need to learn? What realizations do I need to come forward? Do you even need to forgive yourself? You're only going to be able to do that by going within, doing either shadow work, inner child work, stuff like that, and following your inner compass over what feels right for you. It's okay to do some work by yourself because you're going to come out of it better than when you started, okay? And look at this, four of cups. This is about you taking a break, possibly doing, again, introspection, meditation, taking that time to really sit and understand what are the pieces that are missing from my life? How can I move forward to make myself more complete and this comes here there's always stuff about like if you feel like something's missing or something that's incomplete it's not the external it's something that you feel is inside that's missing okay so take that time have some rest take a break from what's going on and come back to yourself and even just like do these um what do you call them? Pulse checks with yourself. How am I feeling? You know, and just kind of sit with those energies and feel like what is going on for me and maybe even do some daydreaming about what is a beautiful relationship for me? What does that look like? What does that feel like? Okay, because the more you connect with that energy, the more you call it in. And speaking of calling it in, check this out. Three of Wands. So there's lots of beautiful healing opportunities for you here, Pisces, because these cards are saying there's definitely some hurt and stuff that needs to be addressed. But if you do, the work and take the time out, you're going to be able to create new opportunities for yourself to look forward to. This card is about you looking forward to, um, you know, the fruits of your labor after you've already started the work, okay? Or started to have a realization of, I want it to look like this instead of this. So good things are coming down the line for you, Pisces but you must take a pause to go inwards and understand what do I need to release. That way, when we move forward in love, we have an open space to allow new loving energies to come in instead of going over the same hurts over and over in different ways with different people. Water signs, there was a lot of beautiful loving messages that came forward today and a lot of them about healing. I hope this resonated with you. And friends, please join me next week for your next group session.